It's the latest in geek bling, but it could also save your life. French company Netatmo are best known for the popular weather station device that measured the amount of CO2 in the air. Now their June bracelet promises to measure and monitor your exposure to UV, ultraviolet light, so you can take care of your skin in the sun. So I've been asked to keep a video diary as I try it out. In the London area, the hottest day of the year so far, many places not far behind. And it's a good time to try this out because we're in the middle of a heat wave here in the UK and there's even warnings for people to stay indoors this afternoon. The bracelet that measures the UV is synced up to a mobile device by Bluetooth. This is how I will get all the vital information about my sun exposure. I should also point out that these designs are only for women at the moment, but I think I'm metrosexual enough to carry it off. One charge lasts for a month, but the bracelet detaches from its strap in order to get souped up again from the socket. The system only works with Apple at the moment, and because I've got an Android phone, I've had to borrow an iPad mini to use the bracelet. On registering it, it tries to work out what kind of skin I have. Some of the questions are tricky to answer. Do I tan often or rarely? Unfortunately, only rarely, but that's because in the UK I don't get much chance to be exposed to the sun. My test begins. In the afternoon, when the sun is strong, I'm outside getting a bite to eat and doing chores. I should say, this is my day off. Through the app, I can check my sun exposure in real time. The bracelet is recording the ultraviolet index, a measurement of the sun's intensity. Zero means no exposure, 10 equates roughly to midday summer sun, and 11 plus means it's extremely harmful. So here it's telling me the UV index has reached level 5, and it's time to put sun cream on. I can also keep across my total sun exposure across the whole day. Later that afternoon, I'm off to run an errand to the shops. I must admit, I feel a little self-conscious wearing a woman's bracelet as I ride on my scooter. Will people laugh at me? Plenty of people are sunbathing outside. But I'm struck by one possible problem with my bracelet. Many parts of my route are sunny on one side and shady on the other. With my bracelet on my right hand, what if I'm half in, half out? Will my readings be wrong? As I stop in a coffee shop, it's the same phenomenon. Part of my table is exposed to the sun including the part where my hand with the bracelet rests. Errand completed, it's time for an ice cream. There's no warning from the app to do this, but it just seems like a sensible precaution in the heat. Then back at home in the late afternoon, I'm working inside for a bit. I didn't take the iPad with me to the shops, but it doesn't matter. The bracelet will connect with it again now and update it on what I've been up to. Now I've got the chance to meet one of the inventors of this wonder bracelet. After scrubbing up, I go to meet her at a PR event in a central London boutique hotel. I want to find out how exactly the bracelet works. Well, it's a very uh, nice technology. In the bracelet is hidden some UV sensors. So we see here uh, very small tiny holes. Behind them are hidden the UV sensors. It communicates in Bluetooth low energy with the phone, which allows us to have this long life battery. What if you were, for example, outside and your arm's in the shade under a parasol, but your the rest of your body is in the sun, you could be getting burnt to a crisp. I mean, that's a danger, isn't it? You can't rely on it too much. Because Basically, it's very rare that you are going to be totally with your arm below you, not moving at all for a whole long time. Actually, you are usually moving, you go under the table, you go above the table, you walk, and you are going to be doing some movement. Uh, you will uh, be aware naturally that it cannot uh, get the data if it's hidden from the sun. So we have a time lapse of 10 minutes to do the recording, and after the 10 minutes time lapse, we are going to give you some advice so we're not ju just going to give you advice on the moment. Is there going to be a male version coming out? For the moment we planned it as a women version we really wanted for women to get aware more of the UV intensity of the quantity of UV they get on their skin on a daily basis. If men request for it we may look into this opportunity sure. So as the evening draws in it's time to think how has this experiment gone? Well the first thing I would say is do I really want yet another device that I'm checking all the time? Arguably, I check my phone too much already with things like Facebook updates and texts, news alerts. On the other hand, it's vitally important to think about how much sun we're exposing ourselves to. 
and certainly in the UK we don't do it enough and skin cancer rates are rising. So maybe these kind of notifications are actually much more important than our Facebook ones and it's something we should be thinking much more about. As to my own exposure in today's experiment, I got 3% of my maximum sun allowance according to the June bracelet. This is because I applied plenty of sun cream following the warnings from my mobile. Without it, I would have reached 67%. This has been an informal experiment and I can't verify the accuracy of the results, but certainly looking at my arm, there's no sunburn, just an eye-catching bracelet.